It's been a rough couple of months. We all know that. We've heard reprehensible comments during the campaign and after the campaign. And just yesterday, we heard a very divisive campaign speech instead of a uniting inaugural address. It's very easy for us to become discouraged. It'd be very easy for us to be so disappointed that we give up and we give up hope. But you know what? I look out today and I don't see disappointment. I don't see despair. I don't see giving up. I don't see backing down. I see determination. I see resolve. And I see a few thousand people who say we're going to stand up for the values that we hold dear. I just want to say I am so proud of the town that I live and work in and my hope for the future is that we all continue to have love and compassion in our hearts. That we remember that everybody is a human being and that we fight for the rights of every single person regardless of if we understand them or agree with them. And my final wish is that we continue this fight and we do not give up. It is going to be hard, it is going to be long, but we can do this with honor, respect, and dignity. There are plenty of women leading with love. There are famous ones like Susan B. Anthony, like Coretta Scott King, like Dolores Huerta. And there's people who aren't famous at all, our mothers, our sisters, our friends, our daughters. Our doctors, day after day, they care for us. They're there for us. For all the women who've inspired us, the women who've worked on our behalf, let's be grateful. But let's do more than be grateful. Let's make sure that our daughters and their daughters and all the women who are yet to come also have the support and the rights they deserve, the right to love who they love, to have health care, to be free from sexual violence, control their own bodies, earn fair pay, and to be protected equally by the law, regardless of race, religion, or gender expression. We've come too far to start going back. We're going to stand up. These are our rights. These are important not only for us, but for everybody in this country. These are the sort of numbers and this is the sort of support we need to make our argument on all of our behalf in Washington, D.C. This isn't about a campaign slogan. This isn't about a hollow campaign promise that somebody made to generate the, the voices and the votes of people who are upset and concerned. This is about the lives of people, and it's incumbent upon all of us to stand up, stand up for everybody in this country. Women marched and protested and got thrown in jail and worse, so that we could have the right to vote. for our granddaughters and great-granddaughters. Are we willing to struggle? Yeah! I wonder sometimes what young women will be saying about us 40 or 50 years from now. I hope they will have a reason to be grateful. I hope they will say, in 2017, women rose up. I know that four years sounds like a long time, but think about it this way. We've got midterm elections right around the corner. We're already gearing up. You need to join the fight. We need to make sure that we elect good members to the House who will make the fight, who will stand with us. I couldn't think of anyone I'd rather stand with than you. This is going to be a tough couple of years. But I want you to remember that the road to progress has never been a straight one. It's not an easy journey. We're tough, we're determined. You know what? We're on the side of the angels. Please don't go back. Let's keep moving forward. And one smile, one hug can lead to many great changes in the world. Won't you dream with me of us together?